Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So today I'm gonna to be trying out a very exciting new product from Hourglass. It's the new Ambient Lighting Infinity powder so this is brand new from hourglass i saw this pop up on temptalia's website i just happened to be browsing on there and it flashed up as like a new release and i was like what is this i hadn't heard anything about it hadn't seen anybody talking about it knew nothing about it i haven't seen any sneak peeks nothing boom it was just there so this is currently only available on the hourglass uk or hourglass cosmetics website at the time at which I'm speaking. Who knows where it is now, but I will have it linked down below for you. It is expensive little munchkin. It's a whole 49 pounds. I think it's about $50. I'll have the price on the screen for you. So what is this? What is this new release from Hourglass? Here's the description from Hourglass's website. They say, three times the dimension, three times the perfection, infinite radiance. This first of its kind finishing powder features two ambient lighting powders and an ambient strobe highlighter in one melange, flattering the complexion with a soft focus and natural radiance. To ensure a perfect marbling of pigment and luminescence in one formula they are hand blended using the micellaire technique ideal for light to medium skin tones so i mean i am glad that they haven't claimed that this works for all skin tones when it doesn't because i hate that so misleading products do not unless it's a translucent powder or a primer or a mascara it's unlikely to work for all skin tones or all skin types and so many brands claim that for every product they make when we know it's not true that whole universal one bronzer shade <laughs> No. So I'm glad that they've been honest that this works for, or uh, is intended for light, medium skin tones. However, that's not really good enough, is it? Now I'm definitely a medium skin tone right now, I would say. Uh, so in theory, this isn't gonna work or wasn't certainly designed to work for my skin tone. So we're gonna try it and see what happens. See if it has much color to it at all and see if it really is an issue that there's only the one shade on offer or if it actually doesn't really have any color to it and that's why. But in that case, I'm not sure why they would have said it's meant for light, medium skin tones. However, at the moment, I'm kind of giving brands a slight moment momentary pass on this shade kind of situation because we just don't know what may or may not have been affected with the current worldwide situation with corona it's possible that there are more shades coming uh and the launch has been rushed or it's been put back or there's delayed with the other shades i think we're seeing that a lot with brands that launches aren't going as they originally intended and there's an issue with getting all products churned out as they would normally be at the same time and things like that. So my expectation with the fact that they have said this is for light, medium skin tones is that there are more shades coming. Uh, would it have been nice for them to launch all at the same time? Of course. Is it maybe related to Corona? Should they have delayed it until all the shades are available and everyone could have tried it at one time? Probably, yes, that would have been nice. So today I'm gonna to compare this to the other hourglass powders that I have. I have Dim Light in the Ambient Lighting Powder. I have their Set Loose Setting Powder in the Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I've got some of the other shades of their finishing powder in the Unlocked Palette. And I also have their Strobe Lighting Palette. So. We're gonna see where this sits in that plethora of powder options. I adore Hourglass powders, finishing products, powder products, complexion products. I've rarely had a miss. The one I could think of really would be their Liquid Vanish Foundation, which I did not like. But other than that, I love a complexion product from Hourglass. So I have high hopes that this is gonna give me luminous, glowy, goddess skin. So let's see if it does, shall we? Okay, so we are nice and zoomed in and close, so you can hopefully see what's happening, what's going on. So I'm going to use this as they suggest, which is all over the face as a finishing powder um, and see what we do. So I've just picked this up on my Japanese powder brush. This is a nice fluffy light application type of brush that I would usually, usually use for this step for a light dusting of setting powder or buffing a fine 
amount of powder over the top of my makeup as I am today. So I've purposefully, intentionally used pretty much all matte products today. So I've used my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush foundation. I've used the matte Charlotte Tilbury bronzer and the She's So LA blush by Patrick Tarr. So I don't have any highlight on or anything like that. So we'll be able to see any glow or anything will be coming from this powder. So it has picked up a fair amount on the brush and I'm just gonna start buffing this all over the face. I'm gonna kind of focus this on one side first so we have a bit of a comparison as far as this side that I have applied the powder versus this side that I haven't. Although I've used all matte products, you can probably see that my natural oils are coming through now because my makeup's been on for like a few hours. So um, I'm not like completely flat matte. So you can see, although this is like a luminous-ish powder, it has taken like a lot of the shine or the glow, the natural glow that was on my skin before. Um, so it's definitely smoothed things down. It's definitely taken a lot of the glow away, which I wasn't expecting. I think it has slightly lightened my makeup as well as I've gone across, because obviously, as it said in the description, this is for light medium skin. I'm definitely more of a medium uh, skin tone and even more so towards the tan medium tan. So um, yes, yeah, it's definitely slightly lightened my makeup. So it's something to think about. There's definitely no sort of highlight coming through on this side. It's It's got a sort of soft, very soft kind of natural lit from within type of feel to it, but it's definitely not glowy and luminous. In fact, it's really taken a lot of the luminosity on this side. So I just have to kind of shift my lights around a little bit there so you can kind of see better. So this is the side we haven't touched yet and this is the side after. There's definitely 100% some blurring and like smoothing that's got on with the powder on this side. It's definitely taken the sort of glow down which I'm kind of disappointed about. That might be a good thing for you but for me I was kind of hoping it was going to be way more luminous whereas actually it's kind of mattified me a little bit which I was not expecting from the description. So let's go in and do this side of the face and even me up a little. trying to use it lightly because I do find sometimes with these finishing powders from Hourglass um, it can quickly look a little heavy um, if you use too much. So I'm using a light brush, a very airy light fluffy brush and a small amount. So you can see now I definitely think that that has lightened my base uh, as it will because it's you know, designed to be for people of a lighter skin tone than me. It's kind of blended my bronzer nicely, which is, you know, kind of the purpose of using a finishing and like this kind of buffing powder to kind of blend everything as a final step. But yeah, I think the main thing that I'm shocked by is it's really taken a lot of the shine away. Um, for lots of people, that would be a really good thing. But for me, it's disappointing because I was expecting this to be like a luminous powder, more so like their, you know, their dim light, luminous light, those kind of ambient lighting powders, particularly as this has uh, their strobe light blended in. I, that's what I was expecting, that it would be even more luminous than those. And I can see on my hands, you know, it has got a sheen to it and it's even got some micro glitters in there but I'm just not tr seeing that translate to luminosity on the skin. It's definitely not flat matte. There's definitely some luminosity to the skin and uh, yeah it's not a flat matte but I definitely was expecting it to be more luminous so you know it's not a negative it's just different to what I was expecting. I was kind of expecting, oh, I won't need highlight today. I'm just gonna go with this and it's gonna be glorious. But I think for me, 
I would still want to put some highlights. So I'm just going to add some of my Shantakai highlight from this cheek duo um, to add some life back to my skin. So you can see, I mean, this is a soft highlight. Uh, you know, it's quite a subtle, more on the subtle sort of grown up version of a highlight as I think of it. Uh, and you can just to see the contrast there as far as luminosity on the skin versus like highlight luminosity. So I'm just giving you a real close up now on the skin with some highlight applied over the top. I think for me, this is taking too much life off my makeup for me to use as a final buffing step. I think I would more so use this as like a setting powder on top of foundation and then go in with my cheek products to keep some of the glow that I prefer. Uh, but obviously if you have more oily skin, you could still use this. Or if you just prefer a more toned down luminosity, it's, it is very blurring. Like the more I'm looking at it, it's, it's looking, my skin is looking so poreless and smooth and blurred, particularly on my forehead. Um, it, everything is looking super flawless now. So I think it's 100% tick that box of, box of being very smoothing and perfecting. Um, and I think as far as the luminosity, it's just not, what it's not a negative. It's just, it, I was just surprised um, that it wasn't really, I was expecting it to be almost too luminous to use all over the face. Maybe it's more of a highlight. That's kind of what I was expecting. So I was kind of taken aback, but the more I look at it, it's, it's super beautiful and it looks, it's got that expensive looking skin. You know what I mean by that? It's just very beautiful and perfected and flawless. So let's compare this to some of the other hourglass powders that I have. So I'm going to swatch these really heavily because obviously a lot of these are like finishing powders. So they're not really going to show up in a swatch as much as say a blush or a bronzer would. So here is the infinity powder. This is my first swatch here. So next up is Dim Light, one of the ambient lighting powders. And I would say it's a slightly pinker and slightly darker than this uh, new shade from Hourglass, but they do seem very close as far as luminosity and finish. So it definitely is in line with just the amb ambient lighting powders as, as opposed to being any more glowy with the addition of that strobe lighting powder in there. Next up, this is the Veil setting powder, which although it's supposed to be a translucent setting powder, you can see it has a much lighter color to it when swatched. And again, they're a similar level of luminosity. Next up, the lightest shade from the Unlocked palette. This is again, another ambient lighting powder. You can barely see that one there. It's just kind of blending into my arm, but it's very close a little bit less luminous than the new powder. Next up, I'm swatching the next shade along from this Unlocked palette. That shade is definitely darker than the new shade from Hourglass. So this is definitely the deepest of all of these swatches. Um, I was gonna kind of swatch some of the metallic strobe lighting powders that there's one in here. And then I have the uh, Trio palette as well. It's just not worth it for a comparison because they are completely different products, completely different animals. Obviously the metallic strobe lighting powders are proper beaming off the planet earth highlights. Whereas this is in no way a highlight. It's not going to highlight you. It's very much is a finishing powder. So there you have it. I'm a little confused, honestly. I think I expected this to be significantly more luminous than it is. It's definitely more of a natural soft, barely there radiance, lit from within. Bare, I would barely even describe it as lit from within. It's, it's an imperceptible, more of a satin finish, in my opinion. I was certainly expecting it to be significantly more luminous than the standalone ambient lighting powders because this has that strobe lighting powder blended in there. I was expecting it to show more luminosity on the skin, which I really don't feel it does. <laughs> there you go. So it's not to say that it's 
there's anything wrong with it or it's a fail. I just wished and had hoped and was expecting something more luminous. So that's disappointing for me personally. However, do I think it is super smoothing and perfecting? Yes, there's definitely a noticeable smoothed and more perfected finish to my makeup now than there was previously. I think if I had thought it was going to be not as luminous, as luminous as I expected, I would have gone in with my complexion products, my bronzer, my highlight, my blush over the top of it, uh, as it did sort of dull everything down a little bit and took all of the luminosity that I had from those products away. So next time I will definitely apply products. As I did, I've gone in now with blush and highlight over the top and I much prefer this now. So I think if you are afraid of it being super glowy luminous, it's definitely not going to be like applying highlighter all over your face. It's certainly a soft, natural, slight hint of luminosity to the skin. And it's actually, like I said, if you're a bit shiny, it's gonna take that extra shine down a notch which is lovely and it's certainly going to smooth and perfect your skin for a flawless finish. I hope you found this review helpful. Um, it was definitely an interesting one. It wasn't, it, go, it did not go the way that I thought it was going to go, put it that way. So that's always fun, isn't it? I would love for you to join me in my next video. Otherwise, take care for now. Bye, 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 bye.